Welcome to the demonstration of NetSuite WMS, cycle counting with a mobile device. I'm in a warehouse manager role, and I'll be toggling back and forth between the NetSuite desktop and the mobile RF handheld interface throughout the demonstration. With WMS, I can navigate to create a cycle count plan from my dashboard. To create a plan, simply select different item characteristics, such as classification, family, group, or even a specific item or perhaps attributes based upon warehouse geography, like zones, aisles, or bins. If I drill into a specific plan, we can see that this one is set up to count items in my zone A overflow bins. Another example would be to create a plan to count all items that are part of my high value goods group by selecting it here. To create a cycle count, I can navigate to the generate and release cycle count page through my navigation menu. Here, I can select any plan from the list that we just reviewed. So I will go ahead and select the same plan for zone A that I had previously drilled into. Notice that I can also leverage the count frequency interval from the item record if I so choose. Upon clicking display, I can further refine what exact bins I'd like to include in my count. I can either mark all or select specific bins. I also have the option to assign an employee to this count. Finally, I'm ready to generate and release this cycle count. Now, the cycle count has been created, but it has not been pushed to the mobile RF handheld device yet. When I'm ready to do so, I can click Start Count. This makes the plan accessible on the mobile RF handheld device and takes the snapshot quantity of the items and bins. As a warehouse operator with the proper permissions, I can access the mobile RF device to begin counting inventory at my warehouse location. Here, I can only see locations for which my role has permissions. I will select my US1 location and navigate to the inventory menu and then the cycle count menu to access any active plans. Here, we can see any plans yet to be counted along with completed plans that are pending manager review. I will go ahead and drill into the newly released plan. Here, it will list the counting tasks to be completed. I will select the first task and walk over and scan the expected bin. This ensures that I'm counting the appropriate bin. Next, I will scan the item, UPC, or other accessible barcode to be sure that I'm counting the correct item. Now I am prompted to enter in the quantity. You'll notice that this is a blind count, so I'm not offered a suggested quantity. Continuing on with my next task, I can scan the next expected bin and then scan the item and then finally enter in the quantity. Since I only had two tasks in my plan, the count is now complete and I can move on to the next plan as needed. Back on the dashboard in the manager role, I have a to-do reminder for completed cycle counts that are pending review. Here, I can drill into the specific cycle count to view the details before approving. Notice that I can confirm that the count has been completed on the warehouse floor so I will go ahead and complete the count on my end as well. This will now expose my snapshot quantity, the count quantity entered on the mobile RF handheld device, along with any variants. If this was a lot controlled or serialized item, I would see the inventory detail of the count through this pop-up. As the manager reviewing this count, I have two options. I can either approve the count and the system will generate an inventory adjustment to update my inventory, or if the variance is too large or there's some other discrepancy, I can reject the count. This sends the count task back to the mobile RF handheld device for a warehouse employee to recount. Since this variance is acceptable to me, I can go ahead and approve this cycle count. After approval, I can view and drill into the link for the system generated inventory adjustment. Thank you for watching this demonstration.